Hey, Dan Mammoth Millwork here. So today, we're talking about something that's really important. Most people, when they talk about windows, they're talking about the exterior color, the interior stain, the divided lights, the hardware, but they're forgetting about the largest part of the window, the glass. So let's look at the glass here and talk about what makes that up. Most companies these days will do a double pane, triple pane in some instances, but for the most part, double pane. And what that means is there are two panes of glass. Now with that, those two panes of glass are held together with a spacer. This, for example, is a no metal, true warm edge spacer. This one here is a stainless steel spacer. Both have benefits, both have give and take, depending on the brand you choose, depends on what it is, but that's glued together to make a double pane window. If you had triple pane, there'd be another level of that. So something that's talked about is low E. That's probably something that you've seen if you've looked at windows. Low E stands for low emissive coating, and it's a metallic layer that's put on the inside of the exterior pane, also known as surface two. You have surface one, surface two, surface three, and surface four. Surface one is on the exterior, surface four is on the interior. Low E basically acts as um, a UV protectant from the sunlight. So if you would imagine the sunlight's up high, right? In the summertime, it's gonna come down and it's gonna act like a mirror and reflect that sunlight away, reflect those UV rays away. When the sun is down low in the winter time, it's going to allow that warm air to permeate towards the window, keeping your warm air inside. One of the other real benefits to double pane insulated glass is that typically it includes argon gas in between the panes. They fill it at about a 90% rate overall for most companies. And with that, argon's heavier than air. So argon gas acts as another thermal break because it's heavier, it doesn't allow the air to escape. So it's keeping your cool air in or your warm air in. There's different levels of glazing, different brand names of glazing. All the companies have their fancy names for it, but it's low E for the most part. And the different levels are the thickness of low E that they put on surface two. Some of them will even put a hard coat low E on surface four on the inside if you need some extra performance there. But depending on your region, depending on what's needed for Energy Star, that's really what matters as far as that. But out of the box standard, windows are coming with just clear insulated glass for the most part. You have to add low E or add low E366 um, or add things like tempered glass. If you have a window that is next to a door or in a staircase or in a bathtub, it requires tempered safety glass. What's tempered safety glass? So tempered glass is a heat strengthened glass. So when the glass would break, say someone fell in the shower and they hit that glass, instead of it breaking into large shards, it's gonna break into little pebbles, similar to um, like a car door window, right? It's just gonna break into little pebbles. So granted, someone's gonna get hurt because they fell, but they're not gonna get all cut up from large shards of glass. So that's where tempered glass would come into place. One of the other options that's out there is laminated glass. Now, laminated glass is used in areas where we need extra security or extra performance or sound is an issue. Now, laminated glass would be a pane of glass on the inside, another pane of glass, a pane of rubberized material, and then an additional pane of glass. So the exterior pane is gonna be much thicker than the interior pane. That's gonna add rigidity to the glass, protection to the glass, but it's also really gonna help with STC ratings, which stands for sound transmittency. So when you think about sound waves, right? Sound waves go up and down, right? Up and down. Now, if this is a double pane glass, it's gonna go up and down. This is the same thickness here and here. It's gonna travel through. If this is a much thicker piece on the outside, it's going to hit that sound wave. And because this is a different thickness, it's gonna dissipate that sound wave. So laminated glass, if you live by a train, if you live near an airport on a busy road, really a great option. A more cost-effective way to kind of get a similar performance would be by doing like a 3 16th glass on the outside and an eighth inch on the inside. That's something that a lot of the manufacturers are doing these days. Not as good as laminated, but it'll get you there and save you some money. So. Other than that, you can look at um, obscure glass or frosted glass is always an option if you have any area that really privacy is of concern. A lot of times folks will add that. 
but there's tons of options when it comes to glass and what works for you. Mainly when we talk about glass, we're talking about performance and we're talking about code. Um, so if you have questions, if you have concerns, please know we are happy to be your resource. Please contact us today at mammothmillwork.com. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.